What's up everybody? Peace keep the day for you guys. Welcome back to the town hall level where we have some ECL wars. So this is um, Outrageous 5 versus Aqua Esports and Outrageous 5 have been doing pretty well. This is actually, I believe this is the playoff matches are uh, in, the, in the table and they did pretty well. Yeah, I ended up finishing third so I believe this is the group stages now that they are in um, as well, they ended up finishing third, but third places as well has been actually brought, has been able to uh, come in. So they were actually picked, they actually ended up finishing third, but it seems like they ended up being picked to actually keep playing. So this is actually really, really good for them. So Outrageous 5 versus Aqua Esports. So Outrageous 5 ended up pulling out the victory 11 to 10, 80.2%, and they ended up losing on percent to be honest. But that one star you guys can see over on Ren07 ended up giving him that victory. So this one looked pretty well. So 10th 11, um, they end up like 85.6%. Aqua Esports didn't do too bad, but this one star for sure definitely hurt them. So we're going to go over these attacks. All of them, there are two stars and one really good and a, re and a triple by Soldi. So let's go over all of them. All of these attacks are actually worth looking at so we have clash titan 01 coming in with a like a pecker bowler like a pecker smash tight army he does have seven peckers as well uh five wizards of uh, um one a single archer single minion and seven bowlers so i believe there are no there is no um sieges there is no uh zap lightning i believe there's no lightning spells if i'm 100 percent sure um no witches i believe um that's what i think i believe there are just restrictions uh for the town hall tens like no sieges and no witches or what's not so he does have a quake uh he's probably gonna like quake into here he has a heal rage uh jump free uh jump freeze poison and a quad quake so let's see what clash titan does so he drops a pekka over on the left hand side to probably clear some buildings to probably go down uh, oh he actually drops another pack over on the top hand side as well to actually um, clear some more buildings pekka is on the arch tower pekka takes so the arch tower pekka over on the um further side taking out the tether farm um dragon and ooh, dragon and a goblin with a witch how old is the cc Poison on the dragon, nice quick to open up the entire base uh, to that multi. You know, he's gonna drop everything probably to run them through the back in the base. He's probably gonna jump right here. Um, he does have a heal, he's gonna heal on entry to that multi target from the tower. He does freeze it as well, ball of bounce on the um multi target front of the tower. He rages in this side, but not much. Yeah, everything is gonna bypass that rage. He's probably going to part the king's ability. The king is going to die to the... Ooh, king doesn't die. Uh, this raid spell was uh, didn't really get much. Because everything is over on this... Um, on that wall. He's probably going to drop the jump now. Ooh, he drops the jump uh, pretty wide as well. Uh, he doesn't have any more spells though. That's the only thing. Uh, that quad quit took a good amount of spells. And he doesn't have um, anything to, for this back end um, multi. So... He didn't have to really have much for the back end multi, so the multi is going to eat all of the bowlers and the peckers as well on the outside. He does have a wizard and an archer that he can, an uh, archer and a minion, sorry, that he can uh, clean up. He pops Queen's ability. Queen is stuck on skeletons and the archer tower and the cannon ended up taking um, her out. So the, the peck is on the um, out hand side, left hand side, sorry, sorry. taking up some buildings. Let's go down, drop some minion on the builder hut to take it out. And he probably can drop an ooh the archer can't really get much um value so the archer's pay probably just um a wasted um troop as well so 75 percent not a bad attack he just didn't have much for the back end base uh back end multi-target in front of tar so gee uh nice try by class trading so next up we have brainstorm he ended up pulling out a um decent percent He's actually coming in for a hybrid. Um, I haven't seen much hybrid at Town 10. Um, I haven't tried it at Town 10 to be honest. Um, but let's see what he does. So he has an archer. He has six war breakers for the um, charge. 
He has two balloons that's look for secret and mines. They are, they are called coconut loons. He has two wizards, five uh, healers for a queen, big dragon for funneling, uh, 14 miners, and nine hogs. He has uh, he has actually using a uh, um, hero potion as well for the king and queen. Three, he three heals, two rages, um, a poison, and a freeze. So let's see what Brainstorm can pull off here. So let's see what he does. I'm just gonna do ooh, so he drops a balloon and a um baby dragon over on the nine ten o'clock side. Queen is actually on like the eleven twelve because she, he's probably gonna charge her in to take out the uh town hall and probably the CC. The queen is working pretty well. It's not a bad spot. He finds two tezzas, so small tether farm. He drops some cleaner over on the top hand side because he definitely wants to charge her into here. He's probably going to try to get Warbrain into the town hall just to get that multi. Queen is working pretty well. Queen does pull the um, Rages to get the Queen through pretty quickly. That's not a bad thing. He does he does have a little more stuff. He has some Warbreakers as well. Ooh, Hound and Balloon. So this is going to be... Yeah, he probably poisoned too quick because the... Um, he poisoned too early due to because of the Lava Pups that are going to pop up now. Um, it's gonna do a lot of damage to save. So he does have another rage though. He starts a freeze as well. Uh, so he no rage is over. The queen again, so the queen can get through. He's war breaking pretty weird. Even though ooh, so he's gonna since he wants a war break here, but this wasn't. I don't think that was a good idea. Um, cause it's gonna be a white. It's gonna be pretty white. So it seems that he wants to send all the miners through here. That doesn't seem uh, too bad, but that multi is eating up all of his um, healers on the queen. So the queen is probably going to go down here. Uh, he just popped the queen's ability as well. The queen can't reach that multi, so she's definitely going to die out uh, to that. He heals over the queen because uh, he sent his hybrid directly um, at the town hall where the queen took out the town hall. Um, he still has another heal as well. Um, he heals again. But he does have that back end multi and that king placement as well. That's a really good king placement because the king can actually um, tank for that multi. And while that multi is actually just going to be beating down uh, the miners and halls. King is on the left out hands, the outside of the base giant bomb on the halls. All the halls are dead. Um, nothing really stayed in the middle of the base. So he does have. Um, still has a, a little bit of stuff alive. The king is still on the, the um, outside of the base clearing trash, but he died pretty quickly and he sent the base. Those are all of these skeleton traps. The queen as well. Um, but this wasn't bad. This definitely wasn't a bad hit um, by Brainstorm. So he's going to be pulling out a. Going to be pulling an 89% 2 star on the town 10. So that's actually not, not, a, not a bad attempt. On this base with the hybrid, um, I would say so. GG to Brainstar with that hybrid attack as well. So, we're gonna pull off here to Soldi 3. Soldi ended up pulling out a triple, as you guys can see. So, let's see what Soldi used. Okay, so, ooh, kill squad hogs. This is actually a really good attack to learn. So Soldi's actually bringing in the thing in the golems and wizards. The wizards are just out funnel, drops a big dragon at the top. So it seems that he actually wants to set a pretty nice funnel. Golem and the giant to set another funnel as well. Baby dragon down. He doesn't have any wall breakers. He does have a jump. So it seems that he wants to jump into this compartment as as well. Oh no, he's actually jumping. Oh he shot his jump a little bit though. Um he wants to get to this multi. He does have a back end multi as well. The he hasn't pulled the CCs yet. He drops all of his bowlers in. He has clan castle bowlers as well. He's probably gonna heal and rage, if I'm thinking. Uh just to keep those bowlers alive. The town heart is gonna go down. Oh yeah, he shot his jump, so he definitely had to heal. He does have the poison two poisons, I believe. Yeah, two poisons to actually help with the clan castle and anything any skeletons out. So like I said, he did shot his jump a little bit. So that they wouldn't have, um, they didn't have a full, a clean path in. But this is actually good. He's got the clan castle out. He's gotten the queen out as well. Um, 
Wait, where is the queen? I don't see the queen. I think he did get the, yeah, he did get the queen and the queen is right there. He did get the queen and he did the king of castle, king of castle out as well. And he's had a really nice funnel for hogs. He could start his hog. Yeah, exactly. Exactly where we think he was going to start. Ooh, the queen actually went back down. So he can start pretty well. He can heal. Yeah, that is one heal right there. Um, For the... Ooh, Tether Farm on the other side. So that's a really good uh, heal value. Giant Bomb on the Tether Farm. That's actually not a bad placement for the Giant Bomb. He doesn't have much hogs. So he does need to keep them alive. Um, Ooh, he heals again as well. The queen took out the multi... So he didn't have to worry about that multi-target front and tower on the back end. He still has a, a poison left, so this base is crushed. Um, he does, um, the hogs do split. Some goes off to the wizard tower as some comes down. He still has the poison as well. He can even use for the skeletons if he wanted to. Yeah, because they, they actually, but this was a really, really good attack by solely using the go hobo. A kill squad hog, so G. G was just gonna two tiny exit to finish off the cleanup, but and he swags the poison as well. But G G to Soldi, that is a really nice kill squad hog. He even has he had seventeen hogs, but he did pretty well with it as well. So we have Gladiator. Gladiator hitting number four. And let's see what Gladiator used. So Gladiator is used like uh he's used a ton of peckers. He has a ton of peckers, he has a, a quad quick. He has a heal, rage, and two poisons. He has seven packers, five war breakers, six wizards, um, baby dragon, three minions, and three hogs. Probably three hogs to just out pull the CC or pull um or take the defense. The town hall is on the outside and outhand the is on the outside. So this is like a anti three star base. Um but you can get the town hall pretty easily. So he creates in the middle. Um, I don't know where he, ooh, he created in the middle, he does, he does have more breakers as well, so he does need to get in, drops a pack on the gold storage to help take that out, with a wizard, drops another pack on the right hand side as well, the funnel, um, since he's quite, yeah, he's gonna wall break into here, he doesn't have much of a funnel here though, the packers are, um, are clean up pretty well, um, he does need to get the wall breaker in, he still have four wall breakers as well, uh, so he's gonna send him in now. Our couple died probably from a mini bomb. Drops the king in. The packers should take out the double cannon. Well done. I know everything. Bowlers, packers. He has a ton of packers as well. And the queen is gonna pull them though. Seems that they are gonna walk. Yeah, they're gonna walk. The queen, the queen pulled um the packers. So everything walked. Nothing went in the standard base. He had heal. He had. A, Rage as well for them, but they just walked off. So probably this would have been a better area to go in, um, especially instead of the corner. But yeah, everything walked. Nothing went into Sunny Base. So he dropped some hogs to hopefully try to redirect the packers and bowlers to take out some defenses. But no, this is not gonna go um, as he likes. So the queen popped the ability. The queen is gonna die. He has a rage and a heal spell as well. He has a baby dragon. Uh, this for sure didn't go as he planned. Nothing stayed in the middle because he went in a corner and here wasn't fully funneled out. The queen pulled the troops and they ended up walking. So we're just gonna force it because everything are on the is on the outhand the outside of the base and the multis and everything else so are just gonna eat up the peckers um as well. But good luck hard try to uh, gladiator. Definitely did a go as he as he planned, but he did get the two star, which is always good. So the last attack is Ren O seven. So let's see what Ren does. Oh, another more Peckers. Five Peckers um as well with twelve bowlers. He does have another quarter quick heal rage jump spell as well. Um and a poison. Five archers, five wizards as well, and a normal army. So it seems like he's gonna be sending everything directly at the town hall, as you can see, as we will see. Um, I hope he is. So let's see what Ren um, does with this Pekka Smash type army. So let's. Oh, he drops. So he's dropping, getting some percentage. That's actually good. Uh, he created in pretty well. Nice quake in. He opened up the multi target front of the tower and a little bit of the base. He does have this multi target to worry about. He drops a Pekka over on the king side to help take out that storage. And he drops a wizard to actually help out. 
and the wizard should take out the archer tower before it does go down he does need it to go down nice he got he does set his funnel nice funnel so he can send everything at the middle of the base bowlers down all the bowlers down um queen clan castle bowlers he has a ton of bowlers um so everything is going pretty well a, one bowler walk that's not she oh two bowlers are walking three bowlers are walking so everything is walking so he does it oh another lava hound cc so lava hound is really going to try to keep everything in the middle base he does try the poison does drop the jump but oh a ton of bowlers went over on the, on the right hand side and they're going to be eat, eaten up by that multi target in front of the tower yeah he has no bowlers in the middle all the bowlers decided to go um to walk so that that was sad yeah he doesn't have much in the middle everything died out the lava hound held up everything so the queen does have her ability though but she has nothing to time for the peckers are on this on their own and the lava pups are just eating away at the peckers with the tesla farm over here as well and the only thing left is a wizard he does have the wizard does go down to the mortar he does have some minions to help clean up he has a poison as well so he can probably get a little bit of percentage here by the types of farm where his storages were um, but yeah everything died super super quickly nothing stayed in the middle um so that um hound could just hold everything hold everything everything up while the defenses just take uh the most so we're just gonna for time that's it because the um the clean up tools are just on storages to um obtain some more percent uh he does drop an archer at the top to get more percentage um but that is really it uh, for this war attack but gg to outrageous uh five they did pretty pretty well uh to bring out that win that one star hurt aqua esports if they didn't get that one star they definitely would have pulled out the win on the stars uh, percentage but i hope you guys did enjoy this um esl recap i really like the esl wars let me know what you guys think of it i did do one already but i'm being able to bring um some more esl for you guys some downtime wars just something um different as well not being able to attack without siege with being not being able to attack with siege machines is something so different now um, because we have these machines for so long now um it just bring me back to the old days um of clash of clans but i hope you guys did enjoy it and i will see you guys next time